Hi to everyone. Today we are going to discuss the topic called cuts distributed computation in distributed system. This cuts is a very important thing because the distributed system we are talking about the log synchronization that means a physical clock logical clocks wants to be a synchronization. So that has to be maintained in a cuts. Suppose there is an external monitor process that external monitor process constructed by the global state as the process to send its local history. The global state constrained from this those logical histories it's cuts of the distributed computations so the cuts is a plays many vital role in my distributed system how means for an example i am having a three process p1 p2 p3 these three process is having its own events that means a p1 is having a six event this events are ordered by names of the numbering that means e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e6 likewise p2 is also having a three event that three event is also ordering by means of numbering then p3 is also having a three six event that is also ordered by means of numbering that should be a numbering because that, that is that should be a synchronization that means e1 wants to send after uh, that means before e2 the e2 should not send before e1 so so that should be a synchronization for that only we are maintaining the numbering in the event here they are men, uh, they are using the cuts because that should be a uh, that means e1 should send before e2 then and also e1 4 be sent before e1 5 for, for that only they are maintaining the cuts then this is a constraint in previous slides this is a constraint versus in constraints of cuts are uh, the cuts is uh, for an example if there is any event e is included the cuts e does should be also belongs to the cuts definitely because i am having a e event that means e even is belongs to cuts means e dash events is also wants to belongs to cuts so that should be a belonging is happen in a cuts in this particular diagram are uh, the cuts is consistent yes because of the cuts only the events is ordering that should not be a overlapping for an example in this cuts e1 is sent before e3 but here that's there is no synchronization has happened for that only they are maintaining the cuts they are following the inconsistence in a cuts so for that only they are including the cuts so then they are casually producing the e36 then but that is no included in c so it wants to include it into the c before in the e1 the e3 should not be sent so that so there is no uh, synchronization is happened so if the process is stopped then before e3 uh, e1 should not e1 should send the cuts and global state recall the our globe the constraint constructed wants to be maintained we should like to get the snapshot of distributed system as would have been observed by the perfect observations a consistent cuts corresponding to the consistent global state what is the next we will learn how to constrain the constant cuts in the absence of the synchronization clocks constrained global state can be constructed via active monitoring and passive monitoring what is active monitoring active monitoring and passive monitoring plays many vital role in a cuts that means there is no process p not external to the distributed computation there are the process of pi the part of computation each pi sends to p not at the time stuff even wants to be execute then active monitoring that is a that is a process p not external to the distributed computation when the p not is desired to find out the state of the system it's also task of p not sends to one to states then passive versus active monitoring you need to both the passive and more active monitoring the kind of monitoring use use the depends upon the what properties of the distributor system you are trying to detect then passive monitoring give you a more information about the distributor computation the passive monitoring using the logical clocks of even vector way the way of time stop event absence of a global clock active monitoring does not depend of the clock cycles but it's also the less in powerful what we need to know the cuts constraint of the cuts we have to know much we want to know the casual ordering of an event if we do not have the defect on event we have to inconsistency followed in a cuts so we have to maintain that cuts level then construct the constraint cuts via the passive monitoring we must know the casual ordering of event if there was a global clock we we, we would detect that event following rc of e time stuff of event given in a global clock the clock condition e dash should be 
tends to e that means rc of e less than of rc of e dash that means i told you know in lamford algorithm uh, c of a should be less than c of b that means a previous uh, process wants to send previously then only the upcoming event wants to send that means v of a always less than v of b thank you i think you hope all enjoying this video thank you